Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's Nick Snowell here and we're back with another video. We're back with Nikki Reacts. And for today's video, we're gonna be doing some new top five again. We're gonna be reacting to five creepiest Google Earth images, the creepiest Google Map finds. So let's see what Google Map has in store for us and see what creepy things they find via Google Map. And before we get into the video, if you guys haven't yet, please do subscribe and click that little bell right next to it. Click it, tickle, a little tickle, make it laugh, click it. Thank you, let's get into washing. The five creepiest Google Earth images. Oh. Ghosts on Google. The Stewart Hotel in Liverpool, England is said to have been the site of paranormal sightings and events for over 100 years, including oh, wow. unexplained rattling, rumbling, and knocks on the walls. But the Google Street View car caught something truly frightening when it passed by the haunted pub. Not my A casual hotel. observer on Google Maps happened to notice something peeking out of an upstairs window. Oh, good heavens, no. Now, is Brother, this some strange ghastly ghoul, or did the Stewart Hotel owners somehow know that the Google Streetcar was coming by and simply fake the whole thing? They might have put some like decide statues and let me up know there, what you like think mannequins. down in the comments. They might have put some mannequins up there. They know that the hotel is not being caught on Google Maps. Now, when this next Google oh Maps my. image surfaced in 2012, many observers on the internet believed that the image showed a woman being kidnapped from her home in Sao Paulo, Brazil. In the photo, it looks like she's about to be stuffed into the open trunk of a waiting car. The kidnap theory was partially fueled by the fact that kidnappings are very common in Brazil, oh, and in Sao Paulo in particular. However, none of the legions of internet investigators could find any information about the photo or what happened to the woman. Now, if we put on our own internet detective cap and look at a Google Maps picture from a year later, we can see that a car that looks very similar to the one in the picture is again parked on the same street. Interesting. This would seem to indicate that the car belongs to a resident of one of the nearby buildings. Okay. Now, while it's possible that the woman could have been kidnapped by a neighbor, it seems unlikely. And even though the bald man in the photo seems to be treating the woman very roughly at first glance, if you take a close look, she, has she still hasn't bothered to drop her cigarette. Maybe they're just so fooling just around. like everyone else, I personally don't know what to think on this one. They might Let me know what you think is happening in this photo down in the comments. Probably just fooling around. Crime caught on Google Maps. Oh, wow. A 14-year-old boy in Holland reported to police that he had been violently knocked from his bicycle by two young men who then stole the bike, his cell phone, and his wallet. And it was caught police on Google Police investigated Maps. the crime, but had no real leads to follow up on. That is, until six months later when the boy happened to be looking around Google Maps Street View and actually found pictures of himself riding his bike down a nearby street. The Google Street View car had actually taken a picture right before the crime occurred. Oh. Sure enough, the two young men who had stolen the boy's bike could be seen following right behind him. There you go. After a while The boy it contacted happened. local police, who then contacted Google and received an unblurred copy of the photo. Police immediately recognized the two men as Gosh. twin brothers who had been jailed for previous thefts in the neighborhood. The two were arrested for aggravated assault and robbery. Interesting how Google Map captures. Town of Dolls. Oh, no, dolls. In Japan, there is a small remote village named Nagoro that is populated almost entirely by dolls. The town once had a population of hundreds of people. But as each person died or moved away, local doll maker Ayano Tsukimi took on the task of replacing each missing villager with a doll in their likeness. What? These days, the town of Nagoro is almost deserted, except for hundreds like of dolls who fill the buildings and line the streets. Except By using dolls. Google Maps Street View feature, you can actually take a tour through the doll-lined streets of the isolated village of Nagoro and see all of its creepy little stuffed inhabitants. Good heavens. UVB 76. What? UVB 76 is a very bizarre shortwave radio station that has been broadcasting for over 44 years. The odd station simply emits a sequence of buzzes, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For what reason? For almost 25 years of UVB 76 existence, that's pretty much all the strange shortwave station did. Buzz repeatedly in an odd Buzz. rhythm. Might be 
me some sort of code. Then in 1997, someone suddenly spoke. Uh. It was a man's voice speaking in Russian. He repeated a strange series of names and numbers that no one could decipher. Were the names and numbers a test signal? Were they code? Or something more sinister? After the brief creepy voice message, the UVB 76 station went quiet. Then it returned to its repeating series of peculiar buzzes. However, now shortwave radio enthusiasts and investigators were able to triangulate the signal's location. In later years, the UVB-76 signal was traced down to a location on Google Maps. It was coming from a small communications building in a remote area in Russia. Over the next 20 years, UVB-76 continued to broadcast its strange patterns of buzzes 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. On rare occasions, the buzzes would be interrupted by the mysterious Russian, always repeating a series of seemingly random names and numbers. To this day, over 44 years later, UVB-76 still broadcasts on shortwave radio. Although there have been many wild theories, no one has ever been able to figure out the purpose our meaning of the UVB 76 so they broadcast. Haven't figured it out yet. Okay, those were some creepy captures via Google Map, and I'm just doing a little research on the UVB 76. And yes, it is located in Russia, and the purpose of the station has not been confirmed yet by the government or broadcast officials, so they don't know the reason why they are doing this buzzers. And it's just weird. So this UVB 76, it broadcasts a short monotonous buzz tone, repeating at a rate of approximately 25 tones per minute for 24 hours a day. So it's every day, 25 tones per minute. And we have no idea what the reason is. It might be some sort of code, like some sort of coordinates they're trying to put out. I don't know. It might be something to do with the war that's happening now. So we have no idea. Anyway, and that was five creepiest Google Earth images, the creepiest Google map bites. On that note, please do subscribe if you haven't yet. Click that notification bell so notified every time I post a random video. Follow me on Instagram because why not? And if you have any video suggestions, comment them down. And if you guys are liking these type of videos, leave a like. It'll help your girl out. Yeah. More creepy, weird, haunted videos coming. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.